I'm Steve Robertson, getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of adding a second attack line off the same stamp pipe. There are times in high-rise and standpipe firefighting operations where we may have to add a second line from the same standpipe. In this case, we already have our first line in play. Derek already has the system set. We have our gate valve, our gauge, and our elbow. The system has already been flushed, and the first line is working upstairs. To add a second line to the same standpipe, the best practice is to come two floors below the fire so we can have one control firefighter working both lines. Right now, Shea has already hooked up an elbow, two floors below the fire, and he's got a 50-foot length of two and a half. The system has already been flushed, so we don't need to accomplish that again. That 50-foot length of two and a half is going to come on up to one floor below the fire floor. As you see, he's got a gate valve and a inline pressure gauge. As Derek and Shea make the connection, the concept here is one control firefighter, meaning Derek, to control both lines. This helps immensely with communication. As we all know, high-rise firefighting communication is a big issue. Trying to yell from two floors below the fire floor to communicate when we have proper flow is gonna be very challenging. We also know using radio traffic is not always the best case. As you see, we're getting water up to the system now. Shea's gonna continue on up to the fire floor and establish the second line. As Derek starts to charge this line when Shea's ready, he's looking at two things. He has to, as he starts to flow water here, he has to increase flow here. Basically, this is his pump panel. He's always got two hands moving. For every action, there's a reaction. As he increases here, you're seeing a decrease in pressure here. Hence, he has to open that first primary line up to continue the insured proper pressure. One key thing is both lines need to be flowing simultaneously to set the pressure. But once the pressure's set, we should be good to go. Remember, this is another key component is having a multi-piece standpipe bag. Without a multi-piece standpipe bag, this operation can't happen. We have multiple pieces. We only use what we need out of the bag, whether it's the elbow, the gate valve, or the gauge. A second place where we could do this is if we have a building under construction. A building under construction may only have one standpipe in use and it may be in the wrong stairwell. We can hook up with the elbow or what is needed at the standpipe that's working, run it across the floor below to the attack stairwell and accomplish the same thing that we're doing here.